in this video i am going to discuss about ideal and non ideal solutions as well as about the agiotropes so first we are taking what are ideal solutions and what are non ideal solutions so we will study it in a comparative form ideal solution and non ideal solution right in case of ideal solution we can say each component of solution follow raoult's law under All conditions, all conditions का मतलब यहां पर हमारे पास में है about temperature and concentration. Whereas in case of non-ideal solution, each component do not follow Raoult's law. under all conditions right now when it happens it's very important under what condition raoult law will be followed under what conditions raoult law will not be followed so for ideal solutions we can say intermolecular force intermolecular force in resulting solution intermolecular force in resulting solution is same as pure components means suppose we have component a intermolecular force between a and a say intermolecular force between b and b now when the solution is formed intermolecular force between a and b is same as intermolecular force between a and a and b and b so in that situation what happens the components will follow raoult's law under all conditions in case of non ideal solution intermolecular force intermolecular force in resulting solution is different from that of pure components means here what we can say intermolecular force of a and a say intermolecular force of b and b will not be same in case of when the solution is formed ab means intermolecular force between ab means that is solution is different from that of pure components now another point that is when we mix both the components what happens no energy changes enthalpy changes taking place during the mixing process means we can say delta h mixing is equal to 0 or in simple words i can say mixing process mixing process is non thermic means no heat changes taking place while mixing the components in case of non ideal solutions delta h mixing is not equals to 0 delta h mixing is not equals to 0 means either the mixing process will be endothermic or mixing process will be exothermic that 
we will see in the further classification of non ideal solutions next point we are taking that is delta v mixing is zero so in this case what you can say when you are make, taking 50 ml of a and 50 ml of b and the resulting solution volume will be 100 ml means we can say no change in volume of resulting solution it's very important say intermolecular force is same it means what happens when you are mixing the components what happens there will be no change in volume of the resulting solution here delta v mixing is equals to zero in case of non ideal solution delta v mixing is not equals to zero because the intermolecular force are different either there will be strong intermolecular force if the strong intermolecular force are there what happens there will be little shrinking in the resulting volume of the solution if intermolecular forces are weaker than the pure components what happens there will be little expansion in the pure components while mixing the solution okay so these four points are there that is ideal solutions follow raoult's law under all conditions intermolecular force in the resulting solution is same as pure components delta h mixing is zero and delta v mixing is zero for ideal solution non ideal solution will be taking separately for ideal solution if i explain it in a graphical form say i am plotting a graph between vapor pressure and mole fraction say here component a mole fraction is maximum at this axis and here component b 100% percent mean more mole fraction i have taken one so definitely here mole fraction of b will be zero and here mole fraction of a will be zero here when mole fraction of x a is 1 means component a ka mole fraction 1 hai here i can take its vapor pressure in pure state p not a and say in case of b i am taking here p not b so here it is your mole fraction and on y axis we have taken vapor pressure of both the components for ideal solution if we are plotting a graph it will be straight line in all the cases okay so when mole fraction of x a will decrease vapor pressure will also decrease and it will reach to zero similarly in case of b it will be zero at any point here if i say pb that will be equals to p not b xb in this case pa will be equals to p not a xa and on this particular line p total will be equals to pa plus pb okay so this is graphical representation for ideal solution now graphical numerical can be asked in the examination say such graph is given data is also given and someone ask us what will be the resulting vapor pressure of the solution say at point m so what you have to do put a line now here you can find pb okay here it will be not pb it will be pa and this is your mole fraction x a now same case 
here it is your pb and say its mole fraction at this point xb now we have determined pa xa so p total will be p not a say this is p not a and p not b p not a xa plus p not b xb you will be uh, capable to determine p total if a graph is given and you want to determine total vapor pressure or partial vapor pressure of the components examples of ideal solution you must know for ideal solution best example we have n hexane plus n heptane benzene plus toluene okay bromo ethane plus chloro ethane so these are the examples of ideal solution right now we are taking non ideal solution further classification of non ideal solution okay so non ideal solutions are further classified into two categories one is showing positive deviation from raoult's law and other showing negative deviation from raoult's law in case of positive deviation you can say p total will be greater than pa plus pb and in case of negative deviation p total less than pa plus pb resulting vapor pressure of the solution will be greater than sum of partial pressure of both the components in case of positive deviation and resulting vapor pressure of the solution will be less than sum of partial pressure of both the components in case of negative deviation from raoult's law question arises why is it so so if resulting solution partial vapor pressure is more means intermolecular force is weaker so i can say resulting intermolecular force in the solution is weaker than pure components and in that situation what happens the particles of solution will be little far away from each other as compared to pure components in this case negative deviation resulting intermolecular force in the solution is stronger than pure components right now the next point we are taking if the intermolecular force is weaker than pure components it means what happens say delta h mixing is positive simply you can say mixing process is endo mic okay means when you are 
mixing both the components energy will be absorbed from the surroundings and the delta h mixing is positive in case of negative deviation delta h mixing is negative you can say mixing process is exothermic means when you are mixing components in this situation what happens there will be release of the energy exothermic mixing process next point that is delta v mixing in case of positive deviation is positive means volume of resulting solution greater than pure components say if i have taken 50 ml of a and 50 ml of b and i am mixing them if positive deviation is there resulting volume of the solution will be little higher than 100 ml it may be 100.1 ml it may be 100.2 ml like that and in case of negative deviation delta v mixing is positive v mixing is positive means what sorry v mixing is negative means what you can say volume of resulting solution is less than that of pure components right now one another interesting point can be observed in this positive and negative deviation is say if a solution is showing positive deviation from raoult's law and such solution is making Agiotropes. So agiotropes we are taking after this particular concept. So agiotrop it will be minimum boiling agiotrop is formed. Minimum boiling agiotrop is formed. What is agiotrop? What is minimum boiling agiotrop? we are taking in the next concept and in case of negative deviation c maximum boiling agiotrop is four okay now we are taking some examples positive deviation the best example we can take ethanol plus acetone now in case of ethanol intermolecular force is h bond and in case of acetone intermolecular force is dipole dipole interaction okay when we mixing this two the resulting intermolecular force is dipole dipole interaction so what is happening resulting intermolecular force is weaker than h bond okay so what happens it will show positive deviation from the raoult's law other example you can take c6h6 plus carbon tetrachloride chcl3 plus carbon tetrachloride c2h5oh plus water acetone plus carbon di sulfide these are some other examples of solution showing positive deviation from raoult's law in case of negative deviation say i am taking one nice example chloroform plus acetone in both chloroform as well as acetone 
डाइपोल डाइपोल इंटरेक्शन इज द इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स सो से इफ आई एम टेकिंग सी एच सी एल सी एल सी एल क्लोरोफॉल हियर थ्री क्लोरो ग्रुप्स मेक दिस कार्बन इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव एज अ रिजल्ट वॉट एपन्स दिस सी एच बॉन्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर शिफ्टेड टू अर्ड कार्बन एंड हाइड्रोजन बिकम्स लिटिल इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिशियंट एंड से इफ आई एम टेकिंग एसिटोन दिस इज एसिटोन नाउ वॉट हैपन्स देर विल बी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड बिटवीन क्लोरोफॉर्म एंड एसिटोन एच बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म बिटवीन क्लोरोफॉर्म एंड एसिटोन एज अ रिजल्ट वॉट एपन्स द इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स इन द रिजल्टिंग सोल्यूशन इज स्ट्रॉगर देन दैट ऑफ प्योर कॉम्पोनेंट सच अदर केसेज यू कैन टेक एच सी एल प्लस वॉटर एच एन ओ थ्री प्लस वॉटर दीज आर द अदर केसेज एनिलीन प्लस फिनोल एनिलीन प्लस फिनोल दीज आर द केसेज ऑफ सोल्यूशन शोइंग नेगेटिव डेविएशन फ्रॉम राउल नाउ वी आर टेकिंग ग्राफिकल एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव डेविएशन सेम वी हैव टेकन in case of uh, ideal solution so how to draw the graph say i am taking here y axis that is your vapor pressure x axis is the mole fraction x a x b x b equals to one, x a is equals to one, x b is equals to zero, x a is equals to zero. Say at this situation we have p not a. Say we have here p not b. Both components will have different vapor pressure because vapor pressure is a fingerprint property. Uh, it will not be same in case of uh, uh, both the components, right? So ideal situation if I see. ideal situation will be a straight line okay same situation i can take in case of negative deviation also say x a is equals to 1 x b is equals to 1 x b is equals to 0 x a is equals to Zero. This is your mole fraction. And see, here it is P not A. Here it is P not B. And ideal situation says us straight lines. Okay. Now in case of positive deviation, experimental values. Will be above the straight line. Means positive deviation from Raoult's law. This is P A plus P. Okay. And in case of negative deviation, lines will be below the straight line, below the ideal behavior. This is your negative deviation. Say it is P A plus P. okay so this is graphical representation of i this one non ideal solutions showing positive deviation showing negative deviation from raoult's law and this is all about your ideal and non ideal solution every year one or more questions are being asked from this particular section is very important from all kinds of examination point of view next point i am taking is azeotropes as earlier i have discussed how the azeotropes are formed by positive and negative deviation systems so we are taking next concept is azeotropic mixtures or azeotropes so for azeotropes it's a 
कॉन्स्टेंट बॉइलिंग मिक्सचर कॉन्स्टेंट बॉइलिंग मिक्सचर हैविंग सेम कॉम्पोजिशन इन सल्यूशन एज वेल एज वेपर फॉर मीन्स टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स यू कैन ऑब्जर्व इन केस ऑफ एजियोटॉक्स नंबर वन दैट इज कॉन्स्टेंट बॉइलिंग मिक्सचर इट बॉइल्स दो इट कंटेन टू डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेट वी नो इफ वी हैव मिक्सचर ऑफ टू डिफरेंट लिक्विड्स दे विल बॉइल एट डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर वी कैन सेपरेट फ्रॉम सेपरेट देम बाय आईदर डिस्टिलेशन और फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन मेथड हियर एजियोट्रॉप्स कैन नॉट बी सेपरेटेड बाय फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन मेथड कॉन्स्टेंट बॉइलिंग मिक्सचर मीन्स इट विल हैव सम डिफरेंट बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ओके from that of pure components and another thing it has same composition in solution and vapor form means xa will be equals to ya and xb will be equals to yb okay these azeotropes are classified into two categories one is maximum boiling azeotropes and another is minimum boiling azeotropes right maximum boiling azeotropes means boils at a temperature greater than boiling point of both components and we have best example 68% hno3 aqueous and see in case of minimum boiling azeotrope boils at a temperature less than boiling point of both components okay and best example we have 95% aqueous ethanol okay so for azeotropes we should know three important points these are the examples and types apart from that number one they have same boiling point means they do not boil at uh, boiling points of the component another thing they have same composition means they have same mole fraction in solution as well as in vapor form and another thing maximum boiling and minimum boiling azeotropes okay so this is about your azeotropes in next class we will be taking about colligative properties thank you